Hello and welcome to the Rugged Rockhound. Today I'm using a different camera this time. I'm not using my GoPro, I'm using a cell phone. And my wife's gonna go ahead and kind of man the camera a little bit. So got here a box from a fellow YouTuber. It's uh, Dustin Finds Rocks. So Dustin has sent me this package. He said he was gonna send me one and here it is. So we're gonna open it up and see what's in it. So I'm gonna cut open the box and I've got a little bit of water sitting over here, so if there's anything that we need to dip to kind of be able to see, I can do that. And I'm gonna hold it up close to the cell phone. I don't know, like I said, I haven't used the cell phone, so I don't know how quiet it's gonna work, but hopefully it'll be good. Our first rock of the unboxing is... Oh, it looks like it's a kind of a, a nodule or concretion in limestone with a pocket in the center of it. And trying to see what those crystals are. They look like they're forming cubes, so I would say that's probably fluorite in there. So let me bring it up there close to you guys. It looks like fluorite to me. Yeah, I'd say that's fluorite. Maybe it's on top of something else. That's really cool though. Got some fluorite in there. Ooh, you know what? If I was smart, I would read the little notes that he put in it, telling me what these are. Calcite and fluorite and dolomite in nodule. Okay, so I saw the fluorite. I should have figured there'd be some calcite in there and then it's limestone, so. <laughs> really cool, phosphorescent. I don't have a good black light with me, so I'll have to check that out some other time. All right, here's another geode. Of one of those little geodes that you get from St. Charles County. So some geodes that they find over there in Missouri. Oh, next one is another, it looks like the, another one of the, that geode, that big one there. And here he says it replaces a crinoid calyx. So, so it's the head of a crinoid. I thought it looked kind of familiar. Well, this one specifically. Okay, so here's this one. Yeah, you can see the stem right here. So that's where the crinoid attached, the stem of it attached to the head. That's really cool. Out here in Utah, you usually only ever see the stems. You pretty much never see the heads. So that is really cool. Okay, next one. Oh, look at that quartz. Is this the Haunted Ridge? Yep. So the Haunted Ridge is a place that he goes to a lot. Dustin goes to a lot. And if I ever get out there, that's where we're gonna go. But it's a place where you get druzy quartz and larger quartz crystals just all over. And I've seen, he, they go find boulders of this stuff. And this one's kind of a smoky color. He says root beer. <laughs> so I'll just kind of angle it around. Hopefully you can get some nice glinting off. <laughs> Pretty darn cool though. And you can even see like this banding on this side of it. It's really cool. It's more Haunted Ridge because of the quartz, I'm pretty sure. But we've got some limonite pseudomorphing on the top. After marcasite, yeah, okay, because it's kind of a, a radiating structure. So you can see how rusty it is. So that's all limonite on there. I think these little crystals here, those look like calcite or potentially some other bladed mineral that has been coated or replaced by the uh, <clears throat> limonite, unless that is some of the marcasite. And then you can see underneath, here's the quartz crystals coating the bottom of it. A lot of paper to wrap this one. This would be a really precious one. Because it's a trilobite. So this is the one, so this is courtesy of Hunting Rocks. So, so Dustin Finds Rocks is the one who sent me this package and most of the stuff's his. But apparently a little bit of it's coming from Hunting Rocks, which is a channel I'm not familiar with, so I'll have to subscribe to him <laughs> and go check him out. But look, there's a trilobite he found from Grafton, Illinois. 
Take a look at that thing. Looks like he spent some time uh, chipping away a little bit of the edge to maybe expose it a little bit better. It's a nice try of the bite though. Okay, Marcusite, Andrusi Quartz and Dolomite. So there you go. So you've got these small crystals of Marcusite. Basically, it's an alternating, a, a different structure form of pyrite, basically. It's basically pyrite. And then you've got some quartz crystals underneath it. Ah. <laughs> it's kind of a, a lone surviving quartz crystal, a few little other points, probably from the Haunted Ridge. It looks like a fossil. That looks like a horn coral to me. Yeah, horn coral. From his yard. Nice piece of a horn coral fossil. So it's lost the horn, the horn broke off, but you can see some of the internal structure there. And the horn coral. Okay. Yeah, it looks like barite. Yeah, that's barite. And I can feel how heavy it is. So I've got some barite crystals that come from Washington County. You can see some of the nice tabular barite crystals. Oh, this is going to be more Haunted Ridge Quartz. It's uh, kind of got a nice druzy on it. And the bottom of it's really interesting looking too. Some nice sparkling druzy quartz. Look at the edge of it, how cool that is. Very cool. Okay, next one here is kind of the uh, remnants of one of these geodes. So this one right here that I got to cut open, here you can see one broken open so you can see what they look like. So it's a bunch of little quartz crystals. So you can see all those nice little quartz crystals all along the edge there. Yeah, there's definitely an interesting formation outside. I, I really think it's fossil related. I really think it's, cast, it's quartz that's filled in a an empty space where a fossil used to be. What do we got here? Looks like limonite. Pseudomorphing after marcasite again. So this is probably also from the Haunted Ridge like the other one. That has replaced marcasite. So that bladed feature is the marcasite. It's pretty large. Marcasite usually is smaller, at least what I've seen. That's really cool though. Fossils, looks like corals, rugose corals. Look at those nice corals. Quite a few on it. Definitely the better ones are right here, but it's pretty darn cool. Hey, more hundred rich quartz. We got some limonite again, pseudomorphing on it. Nice larger crystals of quartz. I really like it when they're bigger crystals. It's really nice. A little bit of it broke off. That's not unheard of with <laughs> transporting rocks, shipping them. That looks like barite. Yep, some more of that barite, but these are some larger blades of it. Take a look at that. Oh, just a stack of barret blades all through. Oh, some more quartz. Another nice piece. Yeah, here's a fossil. Oh, looks like corals. Yep, some more fossil coral. Found it with hunting rocks. Got wet, hopefully that'll help it look okay. But you can see all these individual corals. And if you look at from the side, 
can see them. They all stack together. A large quartz crystal. From Nico Jackson's claim. This is from Colorado. <laughs> so he's showing some of the stuff he's gotten from Colorado. Nice single crystal of quartz. Ah, some more barite. Apparently they, they get a lot of barite out there. <laughs> I like how well stacked this one is. Looks really nice. <laughs> yeah, this is definitely the best site to look at it from right here though. Oh, it's going to be probably more Haunted Ridge. Uh, yeah, quartz with those limonite pseudomorphs. Here we go. Big piece of it. <laughs> I'll bring it on over. So here it is, the last one. A lot of quartz crystals, a lot of limonite pseudomorphs. That's what the bottom looks like. Really neat. Well, thank you very much, Dustin. That was awesome. These are some neat stuff. I'm gonna really enjoy this. Mostly the Druzy quartz. I like I like the quartz crystals. But yeah, some really cool stuff in there. So thank you for much for sending that. So guys, don't forget to go check out Dustin Finds Rocks. Here you go. That's his YouTube channel. And then the new guy that I Still don't really know yet, but I'll find out. But uh, Hunting Rocks is what he's called. So there you go. So go check out their channels. And remember, there is treasure everywhere. And I'll get you your box, Dustin. Don't worry, I'll send you some back.